Hello my viewers, this is Kefu Pipeline here again. Please welcome to my channel. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and share. Please stay safe wherever you are. This corona is real man. Stay safe guys. Watch out. Thank you. The final indignity. There's no funeral service for 18 year old Rafaela Silva only a burial in the mud with a single mourner. <laughs> Between sobs, her father cries, I love you so much. <laughs> the teenager is yet another COVID victim in the city of Manaus. A different variant is killing people younger and faster. All these graves have been dug in the last two weeks. It's causing panic. A family heave a critically ill man onto a trolley outside the Plateau Giaraju hospital. There's a shortage of ambulances to collect the sick. Inside, there is a shortage of beds and staff, corridors overflowing with COVID patients, cared for by their relatives, mostly without any protective clothing. Ronaldo is trying to keep his father alive. The 61-year-old's heart stopped and he can't get the specialist care he needs. Essa bagunça aí, os pessoal dividindo oxigênio em três, quatro, cinco pessoas dividindo um cilindro de oxigênio. Cadê o oxigênio que chegaram? Entendeu? Cadê as doações que chegaram? Oxygen was donated by neighboring Venezuela after Manaus ran out. But demands so high, families often have to buy their own supplies. <laughs> At the mortuary, Andrea has come to collect the body of her grandfather, who spent two days in the corridor. They'd run out of ventilators for the 86-year-old. <laughs> Medical staff believe that some of the patients struck down by this second wave have been reinfected. One nurse spoke to us anonymously. Porque o que nós observamos que de novembro para cá começou a ter a reinfecção, até mesmo de colegas. Colegas aqui do SPA adoeceram, tiveram na primeira onda e se reinfectaram agora. There is little time or capacity for testing, but the fear is that the first wave offers no immunity against this new variant. Perhaps even more worrying, at the airport, COVID patients are being flown to other states in Brazil. Ambulances relieving pressure on the hospitals in Manaus, but potentially spreading the more deadly mutation across this vast country. Juliet Bremner, News at 10.